Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Thursday, 23 April 2020, the week of Easter 2. It is a prayer by Martin Luther in For All the Saints, Volume 3. And never mind the light for a long prayer by Luther. Who are we kidding? So, O Lord, gracious Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in times past has been gracious unto thy people to forgive all their sins, have mercy upon thine own who now feel the burden of their sins and the weight of thine avenging hand driving them to pray unto thee. Thou who dost banish Israel into Babylon for their sin's sake, but dost hear their cries and lead them back again into their beloved country and unto thy holy Mount Zion. Behold how we dwell in misery and long for thy Zion. Yea, thy poor church indeed is dwelling in Babylon now, and the children of Babylon reside among her children. We who heretofore, in spite of our manifold sins, were united in word and confession of faith, hear no more the sound of the trumpet cry of thy word and the confessions which kept our fathers steadfast in thy truth. We have tarried long, but there returneth not unto us the ancient glory. Schisms and false doctrines have entered in among us, and the disagreements of pastors and teachers have scattered the people. Thus have thousands again become as erring sheep, each looking to his own ways, and all are turned from the true shepherd and bishop of their souls knowing no more to find the way of peace. How shall they have one faith when they hear the one doctrine no more? For faith cometh by the hearing of the word, and now by false preaching has come false faith, and by manifold teachings must come manifold confessions, schisms, and divisions. How shall they be one in love, one flock, one fold, if they be not one in spirit and faith. O Lord, how great misery has befallen us that men scarce recognize thy bride. And therefore do the children of death no more gather about her. Where is she? How shall she be found since thy signs, thy light and counsel, thy pure word, the unity of confession and the concord of doctrine have departed from her. O Lord, hear us and all who in these days bring one plant and one petition to thine ear in Jesus' name. And since the day is far spent, let there be light even at eventide. Send forth thy Holy Spirit from high heaven that he may banish from the hearts of all that love thee this multiplicity of doctrines and conceptions. Take away from the souls of all who with us eat one bread and drink of the one cup, everything which hinders them from being one in thy truth. Cleanse, purify, and revive also the hearts of all of us who desire the only true peace of thy word. Grant us moderation, discretion, and patience that we withstand not thy spirit with impious souls and so tear down instead of building up what thy hand has even yet maintained among us of concord and peace. Especially strengthen all who have yielded themselves unto thee to overcome divisions and to seek true concord unto all such grant wisdom, understanding, zeal, constancy, alert senses and incorruptible hearts that they may be not ensnared in the words seeming keenness and glittering temptations. 
Help us, Lord, and grant us success. Cause us to acknowledge thy ways in the earth and lead us in thy paths. Reveal thy work unto thy servants and thy glory unto their children. The more the world departs from thee and follows its own ways and modes of thought, so much the more powerfully cause thy servants to speak thy word, to defend thy confessions, thy doctrine, and in ever-growing circles cause unity in the word and unity of doctrine and faith and confession to increase. As time passes, so increase thou the assembly of thy people in one spirit and in one body unto one desire and one work, to one prayer and one petition, to one battle for thy peace, which cometh alone through Jesus Christ, thine only begotten Son. The oftener and more frequently we pray, so much the more oftener do thou hear us and help us who seek and desire not, but that thy name be hallowed, thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen.